Hi, today I'm going to perform with the jaw um, what is called the last 18 jaw form or the last 18 jaw kata uh, or also known as the 1964 jaw form or jaw kata. The reason I say jaw form or jaw kata is you could think this is a kata or think it's just a form, a fluid form and I think it's the former my opinion, um, I might be wrong because it's a video that we've only seen Sato Sensei performing it in 1964 there's a link underneath this video which you can see if you want to have a look at the original video um, I suggest you go straight down to 7 minutes 8 seconds of this video you'll see Sato Sensei performing it it's right at the end of this video um, I think it was a spontaneous form that he was carrying out and sometimes when you do the jaw suburi, 20 jaw suburi, you can try and work out what can be done next and you create your own fluid form um, and I think that's what Sato Sensei was doing. I might be wrong um, but then if it was a kata questions can be raised why we haven't been shown this specific kata over the years. Um, we've only studied the 31 Jokata and the 13 Jokata. Um, so it could be that he forgot. Um, I don't think that would be the case, but we'll never know the answers to, to, to this. But anyway, um, I've done a video of the 18 Jo form first time, and I was able to do it thanks to Aiton Westgard, who actually did a fantastic job. Um, dissecting the forms from the original video and then he created a segmented uh, you know step by step how to carry out the 18 jaw form kata which I'm happy to give you the link below as well if you want to have a look at so I would not have been able to do the 18 last jaw form if I hadn't seen uh, Etten Westgard video um, because He's done a remarkable job giving some great benchmarks um, to help us if we want to go further and try and learn it. So what I'm going to do is redo this video with the 18 jaw form and break it down as much as I can. But it's very difficult because when you break it down too much, I don't want to be confused because it's meant to be a fluid form and keep doing it. But I'm going to slow it down to assist you, so hopefully this video will be very helpful in turn to help you get uh, this kata right, or this form right. So to start with, we begin with jo no kanai, this stance, and then it's followed by shokusuki. Then it's followed by jo danigaishu uchu. And then this Gedan Gaishi positioning. At least from there onward, we begin the Hasso Gaishi movement. Normally, you have this hand here ready for a strike, a thrust, or a strike in the open middle cheek. And you keep a hold here. And you do again another Hatsu Gaishi from the other side. And make sure you keep your hand neat, position your hips, so when you do the turn, you twist your hips, Hatsu Gaishi, ski. And then you go back into Hatsu no Kanai. And just stay here. Then you're going to do a turn, so I'm going to position myself there. You do a turn, you bring the jaw this way. So the turn is felt here under the jaw, not above, but you flex your body down. So then you go into the ski. Now when you do a ski, always bring the right hand down because then you have the feeling of carrying. If you bring both hands down, 
we don't have this feeling of having, although we don't do the pari, but the feeling should still be there. Skip. When you go back to Jodan Gaichi, Uchi, I also think from this point, this Nagare Gaichi, Uchi, form followed with a turn. Then from here, the way I understand it, that was the 19 Josuburi or part of it, followed by the 20 Josuburi, which is Migi Nagai Daichi Ski. So, there. Here, you go back to Jodan Gaichi. The feeling is Jodan Gaichi Uchi. But you're not doing it. You want to do it, suddenly something pops up, you decide to change and you twist. And you go back to Jodan Gaishi Shamba. And you're going to do Jodan Gaishi Uchi. From here, you don't do the draw like this. The feeling is. Even in the 1964, there are some videos of Saku Sensei where the old form used to be this way. You raise your leg and you thrust. That was the old form. So there. But it's not what he did in the video. Let's just go back into Ski no Kamei and it stops and go back to Jo no Kamei. So, I hope this point's been very helpful working it down. But I'm gonna do it slower, more fluid, without mentioning names, but with a bit of a key eye. We can do slower. Now, when you do Josebui number 19, Nagare Gaichi Uchi, you have this form. But you do more fluid, a bit faster, you have that spin with the jaw. Nagai, Gaishi, Uchi. You can incorporate that and use it with this 18 jaw form. And it becomes more alive. And it's quite interesting. So I'm going to do it again. This video has been informative and given you some clearer guidelines for steps to execute the form. Make sure you have a good benchmark. The footwork must be accurate. 
and his use of the hips turned in the ugly cock you and the good posture I mean that sounds less good sensing good focus um, it's an interesting making choice of breed the part that I lack the most is toward the end is when you're doing this part this part From here, this is the part I really like. As you want to do, should I get she? Which she, but suddenly something happens, you twist. So, that's my favorite part, is the turn. I think it's lovely to decide and Suddenly I didn't know that could be done. There's so many things but we keep on learning all the time. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching.